it's Dan from Veritas Mycology. How's everybody today? Long time no see, right? I have been busy. We've had a lot of things going on here at the lab, but one thing we've noticed is that you guys really like that low-tech flow hood. So um, I've had a lot of questions about what particular kind it was. People couldn't actually find that particular one they said. So I went ahead out and bought one, uh, a new one for you guys to check out. So this is what it is. I got this at Target. Um, this was right at 36 or $37. Um, this two pack of filters that you'll need, uh, they are the, the D filter and it is uh, purple and that indicates that it's HEPA and it will say on there, true HEPA filtration. So you'll need a pack of those. The two pack of those is also like 36 bucks. So you get two packs of filters and the unit itself, the unit, <laughs> and you get the unit itself for about $75 right in there. You'll also need a roll of duct tape and a couple of dry cleaning bags. So count on that costing you right at 80 bucks. So with inflation, that is the new economy and that is the new low tech flow hood. <laughs> Pardon me for stepping out of frame, but let me unbox this thing for you. It's very simple. And by the way, the model number on this is the Holmes Air Purifier, model number HAP9241. Purifier model number HAP9241, filter number HAPF300APD. So, and these are very, very simple. That's why I liked it so much. It's very simple. It comes very well packaged. They're very secure. recycle your boxes and your plastics as well so you'll undo the plastic slide it on out of there and you will see you grab the gimbal and bring it in a little closer for you and this is the updated version this is the one they're selling at Target right now and it looks just like this. Okay. Very easy, simple little thing to mess with. And let me sit this down and I'll give you a quick tour of it. So the front of it just kind of pulls off like that. It's just got some little clips in there. There's no screws or anything else. Just give it a little tug and it'll pull out. This is your filter unit. Okay. Of course, you're going to want to get rid of that one. I'm not even sure what level of protection that is, but you're going to want to take your HEPAs out. And I, when I'm changing these out, generally will take the other one and put it in a plastic baggie to keep her safe. So, one of those there. And let me show you how to pop this in real quick. It's very, very simple. It's got a little bead around here that uh, is rubber, and that causes suction. You'll suck it right up on in there, and you just pop this puppy in there. There's two tags that you slide it in on. It's very simple, I'll show you that again. These little guys here, hook into two little tabs, and it just slides and locks into place. Once you've done that, you put your Control panel, right? Oh, that's not a control panel. It is a, uh, it's just a register, really. But you put that back on top, and then you are ready to proceed. And this is basically what you'll turn out with. Okay. The uh, exit ports on this are the same as the ones on the new unit, except this one is actually a little bit smaller. So you can get your bag right over this area pretty easily. Like you can take up all this space over here, but it's nice that they've concentrated the, uh, the uh, exit stream on this so much so that it's, it's just a small little space on these newer models where the old one was open all the way across. This one's not. So you don't have to worry so much about your tape lines. As you can see here, that's just solid plastic right through there. The only opening is here. So if you get your bag around in this area like this on these new units, and you're gonna to wanna to go around your control knob, you know, but you can do that very easily right here by just taping your bag down, going over and around, taping it down. 
and then you'll set your unit like this on its side to facilitate the uh, expansion of the bag, which we'll show you right now. Look at the big guy, our older model anyway, the one that we did before, and you'll see the unit begins to expand. You can crank it up a little bit since this is one that I've already modified. It's got its holes already, already in it, so it will take a moment for it to fill up. And there she blows. That's it, guys. So that's the updated uh, version of the air purifier. And as I said, I got that at Target, one of my favorite stores. Um, and for no reason other than I just like them. They're well lit and they don't have all that obtrusive advertising in my face. So anyway, this is the new unit. Uh, unit, how many times can the old man say unit in one shot? Uh, it's Holmes air purifier. Make sure you get the purple HEPA filter. Yeah, if you can find it in the one pack, that's great. If not, you'll probably have to pay for the two pack. It's worth it though. For Even if you use this as a dedicated thing inside of your lab, um, which I did not, I used it in this manner when I needed to, and then when I did, I used it as a HEPA filter for inside there to keep my air clean. Um, I actually, for a long time, uh, grew inside of a uh, um, grow tent, you know? So I would use this and hook it directly to it with some ducting to make sure that my filtration was on spot for my air. Uh, so HEPA filtration is good. You guys are familiar with it. Um, it works best for us because it removes 99.9% .9 of harmful bacteria and particles from the air. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, in doing that, they've also given us a really easy way to make a kind of a bitchin' little flow hood for ourselves too. So for 80 bucks, you can't beat it. Trust me uh, on that. You cannot beat that price. Uh, so anyway, make sure you fill out your warranty card too because you're gonna wanna keep this thing. They, they've lasted a long time. That's why I had to go buy a new one to show you guys what it looks like because the old ones don't exist anymore. I've had that thing for years. So, and you just can't kill them. They're very basic and easy and simply put together. It's a great design. It works great for our purposes. So thank you, Holmes. So you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and checking us out real quick. Uh, I hope everything's going okay out there in your lives. Everything's great on our end. We've got a lot of things coming up. I'm working on the website and putting up some new videos. We should have some new content up this week. Uh, I appreciate all the love and uh, all the outpour. Man, you guys have just been great. You really make this job worth it. You really do. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. If anybody's got questions, just hit me up, man. We're here. We're happy to help. Take it easy. Bye. Hey, friends. Don't forget to check us out at www.veritasmycology.org. Also on social media and YouTube where we upload all our videos. Thanks.